Travel News on BBC Radio Ulster. Alan Simpson. On BBC Radio Ulster. Welcome back, all those people out the door at four, and welcome back with Mark, Shane and Kane from Westlife on the phone. Guys, so many people want to say hello to you this afternoon. Uh, can you say hello to Bruce and Ballymena? Hello, Bruce. How's hello, it going Bruce. in Ballymena? And a big hello to uh, Mike Grant in Windy Kilku. Hello, Mike Grant. How are you? Why is it called Windy Kilku? I think everywhere is windy today. This is. Do you know this is the windy month? You know that? Is it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, say hello to Westlife from Naomi in Fermanagh, especially Kian. Mm. Oh, hello, Fiona in Fermanagh. And it's Kian uh, here. How are you? Yum, yum, yummy. <laughs> and Joanne Hale and Susie Bloomer in Killalay. Hello, Joanne and Susie. How are you? Well, the thing is, right, those are loads of your fans who, who can't wait to see you. It's okay getting the album, but they want to see you. And you're coming back uh, to play in the place that basically you, you must have shares in the Odyssey Arena. <laughs> we are actually we have, we have two two events coming up in the Odyssey Arena in the next while we obviously have the Westlife concert next year um, next we have April. two shows um, coming out and then when it was the next, date uh, the 5th and 6th of April we're there 5th and 6th of April next year so that's going to be great and then we're actually also there for children in need um, on the 21st of November this year 19th of November 19th, 19th of November they, excuse me it, here it's it seems to be an, uh, an all Irish uh, concert this year as well for children needs because you're sharing the stage with uh, well with the script. Yeah, that's uh, right. We uh, heard that. Yeah. And uh, be warned, Jedward. Jedward, right. I heard. Yeah. yeah. Happy days. Yep. I see. I see the excitement mounting. And in actually, there's another Irish band on there as well called Wonderland. Oh, we're Wonderland doing it as well. Wonderland are doing it as well. Oh, they're cool. Oh, very, yeah. very good. They're That's a new girl band that will be coming out next year. Excellent. That I manage with Louis Walsh. Yeah. Ah, you yes, see, good stuff. Yes, so, Louis, first of all, we, we've mentioned Simon. We've mentioned Louis. I'll tell you what, we're in good company. So, what have, what have you guys been doing apart from making the album? You know, you you took a bit of time out. Have you been enjoying yourself, or you you've been frustrated and want to get back to the music? We actually haven't taken that much time off at all. We were, we finished our tour in um, August. Even even while we were still starting to record the album, we were we were still touring. So we've kind of been flat out since last year's album. What about now the single and stuff? Ever since then, it's been fairly fairly flat out really yeah, all the way through. Sure. Um, you know, I think the momentum of the last album and what about now was such a big hit. We wanted to get another album made straight away and. Just get it, get it out there, and keep the kind of the journey of of the Westlife sound going. And I think this sound is, or this album has definitely got to where exactly we want to be, sound wise and music wise. And you know, this first single, Safe, is a great kind of testament to to where Westlife are going. Because I, I'm going to play Safe in a moment, but the, you know, the the album there there are there are ballads on it, but they're they're not the normal Westlife type ballads are they not all of them anyway that's for sure well I think Safe the first single is probably the closest to what would be typical Westlife if you like you know that that sound um, but there's definitely songs on this new album that are not typical Westlife at all I mean we have two songs on there that have got a bit of a dance feel to it you know we got a great up tempo on there that Mark wrote called I Will Reach You um, and then we've got some really obscure kind of weird songs um, you know and you know there's a song on there called Chances that's like just weird it starts off as a ball- a piano ballad and then it just goes into this big epic kind of like symphony, symphony orchestra feel to it and i mean it, it'll put the hair stand on the back of your neck um and you know and then there's other songs that are a bit more kind of r&b feel and there's one in there, there's a song called uh, i get weak which is kind of like a bit of a you know dark kind of like you know moody kind of feel to it so yeah there's a lot of variation on this album but i think that's the the, the great thing about making an album with one person is that you know the producer of the album knows that it needs to be a good variation of tempo as well and and I think that adds an awful lot to a record you know there's a track there you didn't mention I, I like no one's gonna sleep tonight that's a, that's a good one. I like well that. that was one of the up tempos that I was talking about the kind of bit yes. of a dancey kind of feel to it yeah, so it is a great song uh, somebody on one uh, say hello to Emma and Newton Arts by the way guys hello, hello Emma how, how are you uh, I was on your forum and there was there's a there was somebody on there pleading saying please come to Venezuela is there anywhere in Westlife's career so far that you haven't been and you'd just love to go? Venezuela. We were actually <laughs> meant to go to Venezuela and then Mr. Filan there got sick and we didn't go. I did. I got an ear infection and I couldn't fly. Oh, 
Okay. And we were meant to do a big concert down there and two days before we were meant to fly, I got a very bad ear infection. We and were I getting very excited. We went into I the bank and got um, a few hundred quids worth of Venezuelan, uh, whatever Gals. the currency is there. We were all ready to go, got our passports mm. in our bags and Shane turns up. It was actually an inflamed eardrum, so it was quite serious oh and it was uh, pretty bad. So I was actually out, out of action for about two weeks. And see, deflame it for you. They do but not like inflamed so eardrums. The, the thing is though, um, one of the big, big frustrations for us is First of all, you can't be everywhere. You can't go everywhere all the time. Um, but but you know, in certain territories, there's there's fans there that are just as big a fan as someone in in Sligo or London or any any part of um, the territories that we're always in. Um, but you kind of well, first of all, we leave it up to the record company. But the record company have to choose where the best places are to send us in any particular year. And there are countries out there that we haven't been to in a long time, um, and it's frustrating for us. And I'm sure it's even more frustrating for the fans because they deserve us to go there just as much as any any territory does. Yeah. Um, but we just we you just can't go everywhere. You have to make choices, and they're they're tough choices to make. That's why we leave them up to the record company. Only so many months in the year. Before we go this afternoon, chaps, have you been watching X Factor? We have, yeah. So, right, each one of you, Shane, Mark and Kane, I want you to pick a winner. Okay, I'm going to say One Direction. Oh. Shane, that's me. Right, um, Shane goes for One Direction. I, I, uh... Oh. You know, I have two or three people. I think Aiden is very good, but he needs to come out of his shell. I think uh, Matt is good, and I think before last week, I didn't like Cher, but I think her performance on Saturday Night Show is pretty special. That's the one I'm on. So it just leaves one more? Um, yeah. I was kind of like Cher, One Direction and Mary a few weeks ago. Um, I put myself out there on Twitter and actually predicted it. But um, I reckon that Cher or One Direction could be winners. See, sometimes on the shows it's like who wins and who who actually wins and who should win. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Two course. different things, you know. Um, Absolutely. But it's, some years it's like Leona Lewis where everyone thinks <laughs> she should win and she's also everyone's favourite. But it's plain you know, sailing, yeah. I, think, I think there's kind of a lot of people that are of similar um, quality on there this year, so it's tough to call at this point. Yeah, I mean, the girl from Liverpool is pretty good as well. Um, what's her name again? Rebecca. Rebecca. She's fantastic yeah. this yeah, week. Yeah, I mean, mm. you know, so I think you're gonna, we're definitely going to see like a, a, a really strong group pull away. It'll, you know? be, it'll be a tight think that, one. Yeah, I think it, it, the last kind of five weeks competition are going to be extremely intense and and good you know well uh thanks uh thanks for coming along this afternoon and having a chat boys the album is out when it's about 13 days from now 21st. 22nd the 22nd <laughs> and uh the single safe is out on the 15th 14th it, and 15th is out on the 14th and 15th and please we get confused with these dates man because you can download everything on a sunday but you can't buy it till the monday was oh, that right yeah, you can buy a physical copy on the Monday, but you can buy you can download it, which most people, ninety percent of people, just buy the the digital mm. that go on there. People have on to computer. wait for the physical release until the Monday. Yeah, and if anybody wants uh, to see the making of the video and get yourselves ready, go onto the Westlife website and you'll see their new haircuts and they're looking very well. Cheers, <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> please, <laughs> finally, please say hello to Amy and Kiva, uh, who are playing the Wii. Hi, Amy and Kiva playing the Wii. As they listen. Westlife. And he, he, the Amy and Kiva just, just text me on my mobile phone and said, can you play Westlife's new single, Safe, please? Oh, they, well, there you go. Consider it done. Guys, have a good one. See you in Belfast. Thanks very much. Bye. Thanks a lot, guys. Easy, bye.